So, is the cold steel trail hawk a toy or a tool? That's the question we'll be looking at in this video. Hello folks and welcome back. So, I've always disregarded tomahawks really as more collectors or ornaments or toys really. I never really considered it as a serious axe. But I was asked recently to make a um, sheath for uh, one of these cold steel tomahawks, the trail hawk. So I bought one to make sure that I got it right. And it got me thinking, am I asking the wrong question? So I know these are very popular out there and you know, there must be some reason for their popularity. I know that they're used for reenactments and people like them for that purpose. Um, they also customize them heavily on the handles and, and sheaths and they use them as ornaments. But a lot of people do carry these out in the woods. So, you know, it is intriguing and I did want to know what would this be good at? And I think the answer to that question comes down to a matter of perspective. I think if you take this tomahawk and you compare it to something like a small forest axe, or an even more crazy idea, two Atari camp axe, then quite clearly there's, this is not going to stack up to something like this. But what if we ask a different question? Not does this compare to a forest axe, but rather, this is a handy looking piece of steel. I wonder what it might be good for. So posing a question like that will probably give us some surprisingly different answers. So let's head to the woods and see if we can answer that question. So one of the first things you'll notice is that I left the handle behind. And I think that's one of the real advantages of a tomahawk, it has a slip fit handle. So you can easily make a handle as required if it breaks, or even if you just want to have a very portable tool, you can just make the handle and it doesn't have a wedge or anything. So a real advantage of this particular style. The cold steel trail hawk is also very small. Now comparing that against another axe, that's a disadvantage. But in this particular instance, as a very light portable tool, I carry this here in my pocket fits in really easily and it actually is an advantage in this scenario. Um, very portable, very light and you have got a usable tool handy. This particular model of the cold steel tomahawks is the trail hawk. Um, it does have this hammerhead style pole which actually has been hardened and that's also you know it can be useful for a number of um, different tasks. You can obviously hammer, if you, if you are, I mean it's unlikely you're going to be hammering nails in the woods, but certainly crushing nuts or if you want to grind things, but also, you know, crushing fibers for cordage, etc. So, you know, quite useful. Something I might have suggested to these guys was maybe a slightly smaller pole and slightly more blade. Maybe would have been a, a bit of a better design, but um, it is what it is and it is a useful feature. So something definitely worth noting is that uh, these cold steel tomahawks all come with these grub screws or set screws which secure it to the handle. Now as a lot of these are used for reenactment or ornaments that's probably a useful thing to have because it keeps it very securely on the handle. If you're going to use it as a tool I definitely recommend getting rid of that grub screw because you're losing the advantage of the slip fit. Um, so I've taken that off and I don't think you need it if you're going to use it as a tool. Another thing, it doesn't come with a axe sheath. Uh, I made this one myself, um, but you know you will need to make one if you're going to use it uh, as a sharpened tool. And then lastly, the blade, when it arrives, is totally blunt. Now, I don't think that's necessarily a flaw because the people who are buying this for reenactment and as an ornament don't want a sharpened blade. So I think it's deliberate and probably rightly so. But in order to use it as a functioning tool, you do need to sharpen the edge um, quite considerably. But it doesn't take long, it's a small blade, and you can easily do it. So let's go and try it out.
So it's certainly not a problem to produce some small kindling for a fire. Um, cut down some, well it was standing dead, this is a, fell, a fallen tree and one of the side branches. Um, chopped that through and then just split it now for some kindling, so no problems there. So they're not the perfect feather sticks, but they're certainly possible and uh, didn't take me long to do them. And you know, the blade geometry and the size, it actually functioned really well. So the back of the blade certainly functions well enough to, well, certainly sharp enough to use with a ferro rod, which is quite nice. So what do we think about the tomahawk toy or tool? Well, I think the different perspective definitely helps. Look at something in a different light and you know, you suddenly see it for what it is. And this is very portable, um, very cheap, very versatile, and certainly in my opinion, it's a great addition to my toolkit. So pretty happy I've got it. And um, it was a useful little experience today for me. So I'd be definitely interested in hearing what you guys think about it. I know in the States, obviously, these are very popular. People use them a lot. So any sort of thoughts or opinions you guys might have, would be interested to hear. Um, yeah, so I quite enjoyed that experience and hopefully it was of interest to you guys. See you next time.